Hi, my name is Caroline. I am pleased to present this video in partnership with www.allfreechristmascrafts.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make this little versatile purse. If you're a beginner sewer or you're looking for a really easy sewing project, I highly recommend this project. This is a great way to give money in a little purse, creative way to give money over the holidays. Or you can uh, put some tabs in here and turn this into a coupon organizer. So coupons, you're going to be going to the grocery store a lot over this holiday season. Why not have a fashionable Christmas coupon holder? And I'll show you how to make this entire thing with the Velcro and the organizer all in this video. The materials you'll need for this project are, you'll need your sewing machine, coordinating thread, you'll need your scissors and pins, of course. You'll need your fabric. Now, we use very small amounts of fabric in this tutorial, so you can use one type of fabric or two different types of fabric. It's up to you. You just really need a few scraps. You'll need some interfacing, so you want to go for kind of the thicker interfacing or even thicker than what I have here. You'll need some Velcro. I've got two sides of it, about eight or nine inches of Velcro. And you'll need your ruler. And as an option, you also uh, you can also use some file folders as well too. And I'll show you how to do that all in this tutorial. I start this project out by cutting my interfacing 10 inches by 12 inches. This will make a nice little template that I'll use to cut out my fabric. So I cut out one piece of interfacing 10 inches by 12 inches. Then I lay down my fabric and I'll cut out the same size on my fabric. I'm using two different types of fabric. You are free to just use one type of fabric. I'm pinning this down just uh, so I can cut two pieces of fabric at once. Save myself just a little bit of time. I am now cutting around my interfacing so I have two pieces of fabric exactly the same size as the interfacing. And now as you can see I've got my two pieces of fabric and my interfacing. So I've got my interfacing, I'll put that on the bottom, then I'll put my first piece of fabric on top right side up, and then my second piece of fabric I'll also I'll put right side down. So the idea here is right side together. I'm going to sew this like a pillow. Sew this almost all the way around and then we'll turn it. Starting right here, we're just going to sew all the way around with our half inch seam allowance. We're going to leave about a four inch opening so that we can turn this. As you can see here, we've got a large opening, and before we turn it, we want to um, cut the corners here so that it's easier to turn. I'm going to turn this now. So I'm pushing out all the corners. We are halfway done with our coupon organizer or Christmas money holder. I'm now ready to top stitch or edge stitch this item here, my little purse or coupon holder. So I'm going to just start, I'm going to sew all the way around with a quarter inch seam allowance, top stitching or you can call it edge stitching. And I'm sewing the hole, the opening that I had when I turned it, I'm sewing it closed at this point as well too. Sewing all the way around. So now you really see this coming together here. So now you can see that we have uh, top stitched, edge stitched all the way around. And now you can either make this the front or this the back, it doesn't really matter. And, and we're going to fold it together and we're going to put a piece of Velcro and it's going to come together like this. In this step, I take my ruler and I fold up my piece about four and a half inches. So that's what you need your ruler for. So you can measure across and then the flap will come down like this. So at this point I want to attach my Velcro in such a manner that 
when I'm going to go ahead and sew my Velcro, and then when I finish it, it will be perfect. So let's, uh, let's pin down my Velcro now so that when I go to... So I'm attaching my Velcro approximately half an inch below the top edge of the inside of my purse. I'm going to pin this in place. So we want to leave this part open right now because we're going to sew. We don't want to sew all the way through. And then we'll do the same. So again, I'm going about half an inch. Once again, I'm edge stitching to get the Velcro sewn right into place. All right, and that is our first piece of Velcro sewn into place. Now we're sewing our second piece of Velcro, just edge stitching once again. are done sewing our Velcro. We've got, I'm going to put this in place and now I'm just going to sew the sides of my coupon organizer or money holder. I'm going to try to sew right along the first seam of top stitching that I've already done. I want to make sure this is reinforced and then I'm going to sew again. I'll do this on both sides. Now moving on to the second side. Reinforce that. And then coming back the other way. Reinforcing it again. Back stitching. And here is our sewn coupon organizer. And next I'll show you an optional step for making organizers within your little coupon purse. In this step of the project, I'll show you an optional file folder organizer method for your new coupon purse. So if you don't have one of these uh, nice paper cutters, then don't worry about it. Just simply get a ruler and some scissors and just measure it out and cut it out. But I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my file folder, and I've got a lot of these, so, and I'm going to cut it down to about four and a half inches right here. And my uh, coupon organizer is about eight and a half inches. So I'm gonna cut this down to eight and a quarter here. And if you do enough of these, insert them in your new little coupon organizer and you can add little labels. So I, I have uh, printed out some nice labels, but of course you can just use a marker and a pen and just uh, stick down this label. Now you can see how easy it is to add in each of your file folder tabs and you can just slot in your coupons right here. And here is your Christmas coupon organizer or this can also be used as a money holder for giving money at Christmas time. This video has been brought to you in partnership with www.allfreechristmascrafts.com